Hello and welcome to a wonderful Thursday. We are here with another reveal. We promised all these reveals in November and there's one left yes. going into December. Yes. Very oh, exciting. Yes. And uh, I'm Amber. I'll be taking your questions. So feel too free to ask whatever you like in the comments throughout. Most importantly, here is Gabriela Hernandez. Yay. Hello, 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 everybody. I'm so happy to be with you today with our last uh, launch of the year. Yeah. Uh, it's wow. been, uh, yeah, it's been like week after week of, of new, new, new. So this is the last uh, piece that I wanted to share with you. And I'm very excited about it. It's, uh, it's a companion to our nail uh, colors that we showed you last week. So this week we are bringing to you our nail care kit. So uh, it's a complete set. Yes, a nail care kit. Yay! Mm, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I do all these little yays for the audience. Yay! Half, I feel like. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so this set really can give you uh, really a, a very nice finished manicure if you want to do it at home. You have uh, everything that you need in the in this set, uh, except some. Uh, items that are disposable that, that you might want to get uh, and have some at home, like cotton, for example, uh, a bowl with some water, um, you know, uh, disposable nail files if you like, or buffers uh, that are disposable. So those items uh, are not included in this set because they are um, something that you can purchase and it's, it's uh, a disposable item. But everything else you need is in here so um, i'm eager to show it to you so let's open it up and see what's Yay. inside <laughs> so uh let's um so let's look at the set here so you have a, a nice box to keep everything in you can keep all your items in the box uh it's uh, it has a magnetic closure so it 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 goes shut and everything is is actually in a tray in here that does not shake or move so if you uh, need to travel with it, your nail polishes or your uh, all your uh, nail treatments will not uh, break if you uh, if you travel with it. Uh, so when you we open it, uh, we have uh, here our uh, nice uh, uh, manicured hands and and we have uh, five different uh, bottles in here that you can see when you open it up and a couple of tools. So let's take out all the items in the set and show you what's in there. So we have uh, a file, uh, and this is uh, a metal file, so it's one that you can keep, uh, so it's not the disposable files. Uh, you can use disposable ones if you want uh, to, uh, uh, to get more of a buffing or, or, or uh, um, different grades of, of, of the sandpaper. Uh, but this one is kind of a very handy one to have. Uh, also, with the tip, you can actually clean out the underside of the nail. Um, then you have your uh, cuticle pushers. Uh, oh, it's lovely. Uh, and the tools come in a little bag inside, so they uh, they don't they wiggle around either. So so you have the uh, the pusher from one end and the other. So you have a tip that you can get onto the edges here. And then, and then this this uh, rounded side that you use to push down the cuticle like this. Uh, so you oh, have this. Uh, so you have you have both of these tools. Then you have uh, your instructions here. So your instructions actually will tell you uh, what's what's in the box, but also uh, how to do the manicure. So you have a step by step on the back here of what you need to do uh, to follow along. Uh, and then we have all of the items in here. See, they're actually in there very, very uh, tight because they're in, in, a, in a tray that locks them in. So you actually pull them out uh, to release them like this. Uh, and we have a cuticle remover. So the first item is the cuticle remover with vitamin E and jojoba oil. So this is a really nice uh, remover. All you have to do to use it is to uh, brush it on the on the nail beds, mm -hmm. like like this. You know, you just brush it on there, and you leave it for about three minutes, and um, and then you take your uh, your cuticle pusher and you gently push the cuticle down 
like that. And you'll see and that, that just, it takes all of that out. Yes. It oh, softens nice. it and, and it, it kind of dissolves it. it. Great. Yeah, it mm -hmm. softens it and it takes it away. So just uh, slowly just take that little tool and just kind of push it down like this and you'll see that it kind of removes all of it. And then with some uh, 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 water, you can just rinse your nails in, in the water um, and take the towel and, and dry them off. Um, and, and then your, uh, it cleans out your cuticle area. Um, the next one we have here is uh, a cuticle oil. So we have a serum. So it's a cuticle serum. It has uh, wild rose and vitamin E in it as well. So it's a nice oil type of uh, product that you mm -hmm. brush you brush onto the cuticles um and again you leave it on for a few minutes while you're doing something else so you can do uh your nails and uh take out the cuticle then let the uh, oil sit in there and moisturize for a little bit you can also put it on at the end of the manicure as well if you need extra moisture uh on on your nails but uh but this is it's a really nice oil that will uh, moisturize uh, the cuticles. Then uh, you have your base coat. Uh, your base mm -hmm. coat with, uh, again, vitamin E and violet extract in there. It's a really, really nice base coat that uh, makes a, 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 a very nice surface for your nail polish to go into. And it has a kind of a whitish finish. So what it does is it neutralizes the color of your nail. So when you actually put on the nail color, the nail color looks very much like what it looks like in the um, in the bottle instead oh, of kind perfect. of getting you know changing color. So it's a really nice base. Um, it goes on uh, very nicely. I can show you here. Um, yeah. You have a long uh, brush in here, uh, but I'll show you in one of my nails here. Uh, I'll brush it on, and you can see what it does. So I tend to get that little bit of discoloration sometimes on the nails, and that's so nice to just kind of gently. Yeah, that. yeah, it, it does. It has a, a little bit of a a, a color, and it, it dries down so that it's, it's just a kind of like bit. a yeah. like a matte, and it dries down matte when it's dry. So um, so it's not like terribly shiny. It's kind of a little bit more semi matte when it dries. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then and then it's a really nice base for the color. It really takes on the color. Sometimes I, I just use it by itself and I don't even color it. If I want kind of a more neutral nail, I'll just put a couple of coats of the base coat and then I can I can put the top coat on uh, or even not and just leave that on. And it kind of it's a nice kind of like um, everyday manicure if you don't want to wear color. Uh, yeah. it's, it makes the nails look more finished. Um, but you know, not, not with any kind of, uh, polish, uh, and then it doesn't chip or come off either. So it's mm -hmm. really a nice alternative. If you don't want to, to actually have color on the nails, you want something a bit more neutral. So I'll put in another coat here so I can show you. And we did have one quick question. Is there a light yes. fragrance to the cuticle oil? Uh, yes, it has a slight coconut uh, type of uh, scent to it. Oh, and because kind of it, it's uh, it's made up, yeah, from the ingredients, and it's uh, it's actually uh, uh, organic oils in in this, so it's mm -hmm. it's really a nice nice uh, nice oils to moisturize the cuticle. Now you can see it. See, it gets a little oh, bit yeah. uh, white whiter when I put two coats on. But you know, I, I, I sometimes I just leave it like this, and I don't I don't put any polish on top. I just use that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the, so the next one on here that we have, I'll show you, uh, is the top coat. The top coat is uh, is a blue color one uh, here. It's long wear, uh, glossy finish. But the main thing it is, it's it's quick dry. So if you put this on top of anything, it dries in a flash. I'm not kidding. It's like. <laughs> Uh, this is this is really uh, my one of my favorites because uh, if I am in a hurry and usually I am in a hurry, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I and I have to paint my nails. Usually, the, the the problem is is that the nails don't dry that fast and I can't touch anything. Uh, yeah. But if you put this on top, it will make them at least touch uh, ready so that they don't mm. move. 
in in really a matter of a minute or so, uh, really really quickly. So so you can go on and at least continue to do what you're doing. They're not like super dry, so I would still uh, not you know try not to use them too much so that you don't you don't smear them off. But but they are um, kind of touch ready, so you can continue to to go on with your day and type on your computer and all of this without mm -hmm. moving the polish. So, uh, so really, really cool. Uh, this one, I, I'm really, and it gives you a really nice shiny, uh, top, uh, to your polish. So, um, this one is really, really important. Uh, it also finishes your, your manicure really nicely. It makes the polish last longer when you put it on. So the top coat is really, uh, an important one to, uh, to use. Um, and the last one here is, uh, it's called, uh, it's a polish rescue. We call it polish rescue. And you can clean off, you know, when you make little mistakes, if you um, take the polish and you go over the edges, you know how usually they clean it up with a little bit of, mm -hmm. of uh, remover. Um, you can do that with this. But <laughs> the other thing you, you can do is um, if your nail polishes are a little bit older and they begin to dry out, you can put a couple of drops of this and shake it shake that up and it'll kind of revive or rescue your polish so so that you can continue to use it so so it has uh two purposes to uh so you can um thin your polish and it can also uh kind of clean up any any mistakes uh that you make while you're putting on the color so uh and it comes with it has a brush so it's easy to do that with the brush inside but i also like to use um, I like to use our uh, eyeliner brush uh, with it oh, yeah. uh, because you can use the eyeliner brush and see if I put polish over the edges here. Um, mm -hmm. I could take that eyeliner brush and just go over like this, like this, and it will take off that uh, that polish um, uh, without interfering with the rest of the nails. So, uh, so this one kind of works both ways. Uh, so that's that's the. Uh, that's the set here. So you have your remover, your oil, your base coat, your top coat, and your rescue. So all of this and your tools comes in our handy, handy little box set right here. That's so uh, lovely. And I love how secure they are in the box. They are, they are very secure. I'll show you again, uh, when you put them back <clears> in, <throat> Uh, you'll see that it has a tray in there and they actually snap into place. So if I press down on yeah. here, it goes, see, it snaps yeah. back in. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you can see it does not, once it snaps in there, it doesn't, it doesn't move. I can turn this over upside Ooh. down and see it, it will not. It's going to rattle against each other. And yeah, it, it, yeah, that. it does not, it does not. It does not move, from here, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, and and you 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 have to you have to pry them off when you when you actually go like this. You have to go like this and just uh, push forward and then pull up. See like this and then push push forward and then pull up to get it off. Oh, wow. cool! There you go. So so it it will keep it intact and it'll keep it in the case for you. But all of this is inside the set. Uh, so as far as how you do the manicure, the instructions here will uh, tell you. So first you, you would clean the nails and shape them with your, uh, with your file. Uh, so always file in one direction. Don't like file like, like this because like sign, you, you, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Cause you, you will break the, the nails. So file in one direction. So either you go this way, you know, and this way, or you know, you, you file in the same direction that you go. Uh, you can use the, the bottom here to clean clean off the, the bottoms of the nails. Uh, then uh, take your, uh, you can soak the nails if you wanna soften them before you put the remover and then put the cuticle remover on your nails. And then you use this to push it down. So you push down mm -hmm. the, uh, now, some people cut the cuticles. I, I, I'm not a fan of cutting the cuticles because most of the time, even when I have them done at a salon, um, they, they, they bleed like really badly. They, I, I always get 
cut in there and they bleed. And oh. and it, it's like terrible because it, it messes up the whole manicure because there's blood everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's yeah, not gonna I'm make like, a good manicure, manicure. yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not great. It's not great. And um and yeah, it's very painful too. So I, I'm not a fan of, of, of trimming them really. Uh, but if you do the remover and you and you push them down, you'll see that they're not that intrusive. You really don't need to cut them. Um, you you can just uh, push them down like this. If you if you do that all the time, mm -hmm. you'll see that you don't need to really cut them. They you can you can keep them clean. This will help you keep them clean and not kind of cling to the nail. Uh, so yeah. you can uh, so do that. Uh, then you can uh, use the serum uh, to uh, to uh, revitalize them with the oil if you want. Well, uh, you can also do that at the wash. end. Too. Yeah, we have to wash our hands mm -hmm. so much nowadays. You know, yes. everything gets dry yes. and you forget about mm -hmm. your cuticles can get dry too and it can be painful and oh, yes. the health of oh, the yes. nail. So that's really yes. great to have that, especially now. Yes. Uh, uh, plus, you can use this all the time. You can oh, you yeah. can put this serum on all the time, even if you're not getting a manicure. I, I did it last night. Just put you just brush some on the edges of your nails mm -hmm. and then rub them in. And, and then go to sleep, you know, and uh, it's a nice way to keep them moisturized so that they don't flake or have uh, uh, little pieces that come out because of yeah. all the washing and the, the alcohol is really is really quite bad for, for the hands, you know, all this alcohol that we're using with sanitizers, it dries yeah. them really quite a bit. So, so this, is, this is really good for that. Um, then you have your, uh, your base coat uh, here, so you wanna, once your nails are the way you want them and you made them the shape that you like uh, and you took off the cuticles, you want to apply the base coat. See, I have it over here. See, it's already dry, the base coat that I put on this oh. nail. So you can kind of see it like here. Mm -hmm. See, it's dry, but it's kind of a little shiny. You can see, but it, it, it gives it a little bit of a, a color. So like if I wanted to wear it as a nude, I can just wear it like that. Yeah. Um, so... So that's the base coat there. Uh, then you have your uh, your quick dry top coat here. That's the and that one doesn't coat. add any color, right? Even though it looks uh, kind no, of bluish. No, 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 it does not. It it does not. Uh, it, it's it's basically just uh, I'll I'll put on a little bit of polish here so that you can see what it does, and then. While you're doing that, we had a couple quick little questions. Um, is this yeah. are these nail care the nail care kit? Is that going to be part of our classic line, or is it a limited item? No, it's part of the classic line. Ooh, so this will uh, and again, these are all made locally. So um, so all the products are are made here. Um, they are uh, very safe and effective and. Uh, and they do work. I have uh, tested them thoroughly so that everything yeah. that's in the set works really well. So I uh, uh, I have it here now. I put put it on uh, the polish on on this finger. <laughs> if you can see it. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to try the top coat on top. So I can and show you what that does. Will these be sold separately or is the kit staying together? Uh, in the store, they have them as separate items uh, uh, and they also have the kit. But online, I think right now we just have the um, the kits. Yeah. And this is another item. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we'll only be able to ship within the U.S. And that's just because yes. of postal yes. regulations with yeah. shipping certain yeah. types of liquids, unfortunately. Yes yeah yes that that's correct yeah so so the the uh we can't ship some of these items because they're flammable uh so mm -hmm. it's only shipped in the u.s and uh it's only shipped in sets uh so uh on on online you'll have them as the complete uh set uh so there i put it on uh on this nail the top coat uh, so it, it doesn't see change the color of the paint or anything. If I right. put it on my uh, bare nail, I'll put it on just a, a bare nail here so that you can see it. Uh, I guess I can do it on this one. Maybe this one is bigger. Maybe you'll get a nice rainbow, rainbow manicure yes. again. Rainbow, like rainbow, yes. 
Yes, yes. So um, yeah, so I put it on here. It doesn't see, it doesn't have a color. This is just a top coat. Um, so just have that glossy finish yeah. yes. and, okay. and dries. Yeah, it's just a glossy finish and it dries really quick. So it's not, it's not a, it, it doesn't add color. It just, it just has this, this shade so you can tell it apart so that this is the top coat. So when you're right. doing uh, your manicure, you know, this is the last uh, step. This is what you put in mm -hmm. at the end. Uh, so, um, so uh, that's pretty much all you need. Uh, the, the polish rescue, as I said, is to kind of like clean up edges and things like this. Mm -hmm. So, um, so and which yeah. Which color uh, did you use for the for the color you the put nail? On there? Yeah. Uh, red velvet. Yeah, I, oh, I use cool. red velvet. You can uh, see it right yeah. there. So I and, and I put the top coat right here by itself, so you can see it's just shiny top coat. That is uh, shiny. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then that's the uh, nail with the, uh, and that's just one coat. I just put one coat because <laughs> I, I didn't have I, I didn't yeah. want to take too long. So this is just one coat of red velvet, not two. Wow. Uh, if you really want it to be a little deeper, you you probably would want two two coats of it. But I only use one. But see, this nail is already kind of it's already dried to the touch. I can I can touch it. Wow. See, and it that's not, pretty good. I out. manage to, whenever I paint my nails, I have to immediately then do whatever most hands oriented task in yeah. the world. I feel like so yeah. that is a top and then, coat. And, and this one's dry. See, this Ooh. is just a top coat. See, I mm -hmm. can touch it and it, does, it doesn't come off. It's, it's dry. Wow. So I told you it was quick. Yes. <laughs> it's quick. I know. Why, did, why would I doubt you? <laughs> why did, why would I yeah, doubt it's you? quick. It's quick. It's quick. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, if if it if it didn't work, I, I I've been testing these for like I said, probably six to eight months. I've been testing these products, and I had them at home, and uh, and every time I brought them home, and I had a set somewhere, it disappeared. Uh, and then I found them in my daughter's room, in my daughter's bathroom, in my daughter. <laughs> so so these things have a tendency to. To just vanish when you bring them home because mm -hmm. somebody will take them and then not give them back <laughs> uh, uh, especially the top coat uh, people just mm -hmm. like it just like once you try the top coat uh the top coat kind of becomes a favorite so uh and the, and the base of course is is uh really good too because without the base you don't really get that really nice finish on the manicure uh it really makes it look more professional and uh more even like the paint is more even because you have that mm -hmm. base coat in there to give you that uh, that bottom and also to tell you the truth i use it a lot of times without even polishing just just because i want some something that looks natural and it's not just my bare nail uh, so i just put the top coat and leave it at that uh, yeah. and i have kind of a plain like kind of just everyday type manicure without actually having a color on uh, if i don't want to put a color on uh, and it lasts a long time, obviously longer than when you put on a color because it doesn't chip. So you yeah. you can you can just put that on and then you know it will last you a few weeks and you don't oh. really see when your nail grows because it's not really that much right. of a color. So so it lasts you a lot longer than what a manicure would because obviously after a couple of weeks you have nail growth. So at the bottom of the nail you start seeing a little bit of of yeah. uh, the new nail. So then you kind of have to redo your manicure. Uh, but if you if you just use the the white uh, base coat, then that doesn't happen as as much. You don't see it as much, so you can keep it even longer than that. Um, but uh, but the, yeah, the serum I use all the time, even though I'm not redoing my manicure, just to um, just to keep the cuticles nice. Uh, because mm -hmm. with all this alcohol, you know, the the cuticles just become uh, so uh, damaged that. Mm -hmm. uh, that I, they they need they need oils uh, they need moisture um, so that they don't flake off and I I tend to have really dry uh, cuticles uh, from not only the uh, uh, the alcohol but also from like washing dishes or uh, mm -hmm. doing any 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 work at any home cleaning, uh, yeah. any cleaning your nails really get you know so dry especially yeah. with the uh, when it's colder weather. 
um, you know, your hands and your nails get so, so dry. So, um, so the oils really help with that. If you use them uh, on a daily basis, uh, it helps the cuticle stay nice. Um, and, uh, and also with your cuticle remover, just if you push it slightly with the cuticle remover, it keeps it really nice and clean as well. Um, but yeah, the nail is dry now. See, oh, I can good. touch it and wow. it's also the nails are dry. So yeah. So yeah, there you go. See, I can go back to work and I don't have a wait uh, for my nails to do anything. <laughs> um, That's great. Uh, we had a couple little questions. Um, what yeah. is the box? What is the box made out of? Uh, uh, hard, hard cardboard, hard, cardboard. And she so asked, I think a, she came in a little late. It's, it has a tray underneath also that keeps yes. the lipsticks from moving around. So it's the, very travel. -friendly. Yeah. Yeah. It has, it has a tray that actually locks the, uh, the bottles in. So when you put them in, it locks down, you press it down and it locks it in. So once it's in there, it won't move and it won't come off. Yeah. And I love the uh, magnet holding the, yeah. the uh, lid yeah, down and, too. And, and it has a magnet so that it doesn't open once you once you have it uh, sealed. Um, so so yeah, it holds it really nicely in here. You can once you want to get it off, you, you kind of have to push uh, forward and get it out like this because it kind of grabs it, it grips it when you put it back in. Yeah. Uh, then we had a question about the brushes. If we just want to maybe yes. show the brush up close, maybe a little bit more. They're just seeing how the long brush does the brush be, uh... go down into the bottle and uh, oh, sure. just kind of oh, just of seeing, yeah. seeing yes. it a little bit. Of course. Of course. So it's a, a pretty long brush. Um, and this is the same for the nail polishes and all the treatments. Yes. Yes. I, I think uh, maybe if you get a down shot here, you can see it sure. better. There you go. Yeah, so it's that really long brush and it does go very deep into the bottle. So you yes. know, if you're catching the last bits at the end of the bottle, it, it shouldn't be. Yes, be it, it does. Uh, you can probably see it better on this one because because it's mm -hmm. completely clear. You can see how long the the uh, the the brush is and how yeah. far it goes down right there. And then we had a question about tips on painting your nails. And you mentioned uh, yes. when we were talking about the nail color, about how important it is to do yeah. the prep work to yes. get your nail polish to really stay. Uh, so yes. kind of by using these base coat and, and pushing your cuticles back and all that, that kind of just makes everything look better. And does it, do you feel like it makes it even easier to paint your nails and just get a better effect? Oh yes, uh, it 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 definitely it's something you should do anyway, just as a grooming practice to do this mm -hmm. with your nails because it keeps the nails nice and clean and the cuticles soft and and uh, so that they don't get dried out and start uh, you start to get like hangnails and other things on your on your nails mm -hmm. and all of that is because of the dryness and that. So if you if you really want to take care of, even if you don't want to paint your nails, just take care of your nails in general. Uh, you can use all this set to just do your nail care. Um, that's why it's called Care Kit. So you don't have to necessarily use polish, but this will take care of your nails just just to make your nails healthy um, and uh, and look look nice uh, without having necessarily to polish them. So by using like your, your uh, cuticle uh, remover, uh, you keep that area nice and clean. You keep your, uh, your cuticle from overgrowing over the nail and, and getting all these kind of, like a, kind of like a plaque over the nail that kind of builds mm -hmm. up and up. So by using the remover and, and pushing it very uh, softly down like this, you keep that nail uh, very nice and clean um, mm -hmm. without having to cut it, uh, without, without using any other tools. Uh, to, to cut the nail. By uh, using the cuticle serum, you keep that nice and moist. And if you use it um, at night as well, you keep your cuticles nice and moist so that you don't get all these little um, hangnails and other things and dry patches that you get on your cuticle. Um, the, the base coat, uh, 
it, it's great if you're using polish you really need a, a base coat because that's what makes the polish go nice and even over your nail because your nail mm -hmm. has ridges on it uh, just yeah. normally and even if you buff it your nail still has ridges in in it because that's right. how the nail grows uh, so the the base coat uh kind of uh goes over all of those ridges so that it's nice and flat mm -hmm. uh and then the polish on top goes nice and flat over the top of it so it makes it a really nice kind of glassy finish on the yeah. nail instead of having all these kind of irregular surfaces. So it kind of makes the surface more regular. So if I'm not using polish, this also does that. It makes the, the nail look more regular. And uh, so if I want a bare nail look, but I want the nail to look more uh, you know, finished, I just put this on and then I don't put the nail color on top, but I just put this one on top mm -hmm. uh, and, then, and then put a coat of the, um, of the uh, top coat uh, because the top coat is what makes it nice and shiny uh, yeah. and it makes makes the nail polish last uh, quite a bit longer on your nails as well the uh, top coat plus it makes it dry so much faster so i can just go back yeah. to doing what i'm doing and i'll have to wait till my nails uh, dry so the top coat is really uh, great for anything that you put on your nails because it just it just sets so much faster and it protects yeah. it from getting uh, scratched or dented. Um, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, if I do too much work with my nails uh, and I had painted them and I did put a top coat and the top mm -hmm. coat gets uh, a little bit kind of like it starts to look like it has lines on it and stuff because yeah. of all the scratches, scratches yeah. from like just working. Uh, mm -hmm. You can you just use another top coat layer on top and it kind of like refreshes that if uh, if you still yeah, if you still don't have any chips on the nail, uh, just to make it uh, look uh, nice and shiny again and, and clean the top again, you can just put another coat of this. Uh, so so a lot of a lot of different uses for the top coat. Uh, and then the polish rescue, uh, this is great if you if you make uh, mistakes or you you get over the edges and you put too much. Uh, you can take this with the brush that's in there or with uh, uh, our eyeliner brush works really great because it's really yeah. tiny. Um, so you can just dip it in here and just use it on the edges to clean up any any place that you have too much polish or you went over the edge. Or if your uh, nail polish, um, either this one or another brand, uh, dried out a bit, you can put a few drops of this in it, shake it up again, and it should revive your polish so you can reuse it again. And yeah, that works on any kind of nail polish. Any any kind of nail polish, yes. Cool. Uh, we have a couple little questions. Uh, let's see. Yes. Um, do the do the different treatments? Do they have different fragrances or different scents to them? Uh, I don't think like uh, nothing has added fragrance not, in the nail no, care. No, no, not not really. No, no, I wouldn't say it does. No, um, I I don't. No, I don't think it has uh, uh, any fragrant ingredients in it so i yeah. couldn't say Just that maybe it, the serum has that little bit no. of a, a natural yeah the kind serum of scent has a bit oil. of a natural from the oil yes uh but uh but the other ones do not they they're uh -huh. they they just uh they have no scent or they smell like uh, any nail polish or polish yeah and then mm -hmm. uh beth james riley asks are the tools meant to mm -hmm. last a long time or are they meant to be thrown yes. away when you get a new kit no 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 these these you can keep these are not okay. throwaways you you can use this indefinitely <laughs> yeah these <laughs> these are uh, these are uh yeah these are nice nicely finished uh, uh tips here so they they don't uh they, they won't go bad or anything you can just just uh wash them when you're done and dry them and put them back in your kit. Uh, but yeah, no, they, this should last uh, until you don't want to use them anymore. They, they don't, they don't go bad actually these tools. Uh, and that's why I wanted them in here because I wanted uh, to give you tools that, that you don't have to replace really. Uh, even the end, end of this piece is also a cuticle pusher. So if you have uh, wider nails or, or where you need uh, a flatter area, you can use this end of the nail file oh. to push push the cuticle bed. So so you have several tools here to um, either push push the cuticles, uh, take out 
uh, things from underneath, like clean the underneath of the nails mm -hmm. with these little tips um, or, or, or different sizes of cuticle pushers as well. Let's see. Um, we have, and then people, a couple of people ask then, since those tools will last, will you eventually mm -hmm. have replacements, uh, individual replacements instead of just the whole kit or? Yes. Even, 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 yeah, there? eventually we, we will. Yeah, eventually we will. Uh, right now we just uh, have uh, the set available for you because uh, as a starter, I think you, you, you really need all of these things to really do a nice manicure. So, uh, so it's nice to have all of them. Uh, and then as you wear them out, you can replace different pieces of it. Great. And we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll have those in January for you. And it's, uh, it's not easy to find a full kit of manicure stuff. It's no. really hard if you just want it's, it all it's in really, one place. Yeah it, yeah, it really is hard uh, for some reason. Yeah, I looked around all over. For some reason, yeah. people don't want to put these products uh, together uh, because maybe they think people don't use all of them. But really, the, the trick to getting a good manicure is to use all of them because you mm -hmm. need them to to really do different things to the nail like you know condition the cuticle push back the cuticle um you know do a nice base a nice top coat uh, mm -hmm. and you know clean out the edges if you make errors all of these things is what you see when you go to the salon and get a or you know the nail salon and you get a manicure they use all these these things mm -hmm. uh, so uh in order to get a professional looking manicure you really need all of them so that's why um uh, so, so the uh, so the the set actually gives you all of the tools to get mm -hmm. a really nice uh, manicure and and really take care of your nails and just even if you don't want to color them at least take care of your nails uh, yeah. and and have a, a natural nail but but really a nice nice finish nail because uh, your cuticles and and the oils for your cuticles and serums you should do that every week uh, regardless of whether you paint your nails or not. Uh, just to keep your nails in, in nice shape. Yeah, and with and you can use these and... on your toes too. Oh. Yeah, oh we, yeah, and the toes too. You know, because <laughs> this is not yet just for hands. You can use them on on your on your feet as well, uh, mm -hmm. because all of these will work for your feet uh, as well. Uh, obviously, you need somebody maybe to help you with that. So see if you can, uh, you know, do somebody else's pedicure and then they do your pedicure <laughs> at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Just. Have a, yeah. get a kid, have a, have a night at home. Yes. Just, just with your yeah. family. <laughs> yeah. And do pedicures. Yes. You, you with your fun. significant other, have them, you know, so I'll yeah. do yours and you do my, my, in my pedicure. Or you just do mine, <laughs> whichever. <laughs> it would, <yeah. laughs> there you go. No. It's easy. Just follow the instructions and then do it. Yeah. It's anybody can, anybody can do it. Anybody can yeah. do it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I just wanted to make sure we didn't have other questions. Oh, we did have some questions about, yeah. um, will there be in the future more matching nail colors, matching the lipstick nail colors? Yes, yes. We have all of them coming uh, in, in January. Uh, we have all of the rest of the colors coming. So you'll have, you'll have colors for every lipstick that we have. Oh, yay. And we have, and you yeah. check those out on our website. We've had uh, so many yes. new things going on. It's easy to oh, forget yes. all the wonderful things. So we have the the most uh, widely sold, the most popular colors are already there for the matching yes. nail yes. color and lipsticks. That's already there. Yes. And yes, all of this is available in the boutique now. If you live yes. in the Burbank area and just want to pick it up, yes. that's totally fine too. They are available there. Sarah and says also, her four-year-old yes. paints better nails better than she does. <laughs> oh, there you go. Then, 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 she then, can then do definitely it. get get her to do your yeah. manicure in your bag. Yeah, this is great too because if you have kids, they love sets and they love little oh, kids like this. So if you if you if you give it, to, yeah, if you if you have a daughter that wants to do it or a son that wants to do it, uh, this is great because you go okay, you you do this little bottle first. And then this little <laughs> bottle second, and that, and it, and it becomes more of a game, and it's kind of fun, uh, you know, to follow along and just do one and after another after another. Um, yeah. And it, you know, it doesn't it doesn't take a long time to do this. It's not like you have to take hours to do a, a manicure. Um, if you want to really take your time, maybe you take an hour to do this. But you know, that's then taking you your time. Really taking your time. Yeah. yeah. 
to to yeah. really do it slowly and and you know file them very slowly. But um, but you can probably do it all in a half hour if you if you had to do it. Um, so it's not not hard to do. Uh, easy to do, easy to follow. The instructions are easy to follow. Um, on the website too, right now, any anything that you purchase, you get our uh, four of our uh, the samples of all of our creams uh, free. Uh, you don't need a code; they're added uh, automatically uh, to your order. So uh, every order will get these four uh, four samples uh, free inside uh, this uh, this month. Yay! Oh, awesome. So yeah, so there's no code needed for the samples right now. You just get no them code. automatically. So no. don't worry if they don't show up in your cart. Yes. They will be there in that, the That box, will be there. Yes. No matter yes. what. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. Go ahead. What lipstick I'm wearing? Uh, yeah. I'm wearing uh, Red Red Hard Red. I'm wearing Red right. Hard Red I'm today. I'm wearing the Mary Poppins Red lipstick. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Um, and uh, yeah, also yeah. our powders, our powders are uh, back in the, uh, in stock, our yeah. refills. Uh, the new refills came in, so you have Soft Focus and also Peggy's uh, powder uh, are both in, in stock. Uh, so if you were waiting for those, uh, they're there for you. And uh, Violet is coming very soon. Yeah, so the Agent Carter powder, and that's the powder that's based mm -hmm. on the invisible dusting powder we made from the Agent Carter collection. Yes. So a lot of people were very yes. excited about that one, and that one is back yes. now. So you it's can back. get it now. Yeah. Yes. Get... Yeah. Uh, Get all these fun. There's so many new things. It's just so exciting. so many fun things in there. A lot of <laughs> a lot of a lot of things. A lot of things. Uh, and and the kit is there now. So if you uh, if you want to get this and uh, and use it at home, uh, you can you can get it. It ships right away. Um, so uh, it's on the site right now. So uh, take a look at it and see what you think and try it at home. Uh, I, uh, I think these work. Uh, really, really nicely, and they're easy to use, uh, and the results are really, really great uh, when you use them. Uh, especially that top coat, I really love that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're so in love. Can't yeah, stop yeah, touching yeah, it. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is impressive. Yeah, I mean, yeah. really, I think we all know that struggle of just taking all the time and doing it, and then yeah. the phone rings or somebody comes to the door, yes. or whatever, and then it's just all. <laughs> it's all, all over. over. Yes, so I know. Yeah, really no, cool. it's it's really really fast. Yeah, it's really really fast. I I like that uh, a lot. Uh, also, the remover is really uh, great because um, uh, I don't have to cut my cuticles like they usually yeah. do when I go to the salon, uh, which is great for me because, like I said, I it, they they are very very sensitive and they they bleed very easily. So yeah. this is really great uh, because you don't have to worry about it, and it it gives you a really nice finish. It doesn't you know, look like you need to cut them. It, it, it really um, it makes it look very natural, but nice and clean. Yeah. So we'll be wrapping up in just a second. We've got a couple more questions. Also, if you guys yeah. have anything you'd like to see from Gabriella in the next couple of weeks, as we talk more about yes. vintage items or previous Besame, feel free to leave those in the comments if there's yes. something you'd love to hear yes. or talk about more. Um, couple little things. Uh, yes, this is the last collection coming out this year. Just, yes, you know, Katrina. Um, Lauren asked if you order the nail polishes, will they be able to get them in time for Christmas? Yes, the nail polishes are all in stock right now. So it's all on the website and they're shipping right away. Uh, the only items that uh, have some delays are the, the Mary Poppins right now and mm. uh, the Violet Powder that's still uh, not available online, but the rest of the items uh, are are ready to ship, so you should get it right away. And yes, I would. It's always better to order a little on the earlier end this year, just because yes. things are shipping out right away. Yes. But as you guys all know, there's just slowdowns yes. in all kinds of ways still because of the pandemic. So I would order yes. sooner than later. But yes, it's all scheduled to be able to make it if you get it quickly. Yes. I had a question about yes. the uh, top coat. I just want to make sure. It's, yes. Oh gosh. Yes, top coat. Uh, what's what yes. you say the viscosity is like on the top coat? Viscosity. I, think I just wanted uh, to say viscosity. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's uh, about like that. I don't know. Uh, if you can is it see a little it, bit uh, thinner or a little bit thicker than an average nail polish? Would you say? It's about as thick as a nail polish. I would Great. say. Yeah. You know, it's a little thicker than than a watery kind of thing, uh, but it's not. Uh, too thick that it doesn't um, apply easily. Yeah. 
So I would say it has a little bit of viscosity. So it's a, it's kind of like a little thinner than an actual polish with color. Cool. But, uh, but it's not as thin as watery kind of. We had a couple questions about this earlier. Uh, where did you find the Mrs. Banks uh, sash and the Mary Poppins oh. umbrella that you have behind you? <laughs> where did you, oh, know, well, where did, did you get those made uh, special? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, my daughter made that one. Actually. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> After yeah, she daughter, painted her nails. <laughs> yeah, she made yeah, that. she made that. Yeah, she made that. And then the, the umbrella actually is from um, from the uh, um, the Broadway uh, show oh. uh, that they had the Mary Poppins uh, Broadway uh, Mary Poppins on Broadway, I guess, a few years back oh, that they yeah. had. Uh, so so this was. Uh, this was an umbrella from from that from that show so it's uh, merchandise from that particular show oh, so cute. i thought it was kind of cute so <laughs> it's not the full size uh, umbrella but it's i thought the, that's pretty the, good the, the head is really cute so yeah so I and then I we had a last question about the refillable compacts of arlena asked why are mm -hmm. the why is the refillable compact a little bit smaller than the previous compact uh, it, it's a it's a little bit smaller than the large large compacts that we With have that are plastic. Ones, yeah. yeah, because because to make a refillable one that's that big, the weight would have been really too high for for it to be easy for you to carry. So that's why yeah. we made it slightly smaller, ten millimeters smaller, because the if I made it that been really really heavy. Um, because they are solid metal, so the, it's not a hollow metal; it's a solid. So, so it gets it, it gets a bit too heavy at that point. So that's why we didn't go larger on it. That's great. And if you want more information about that, also Gabrielle's video it's a couple weeks ago, I think. And uh, you can always go back yes. and rewatch any yes. of these lives or any of these announcements. Yes, because Gabrielle, as you've seen yes. today, shares so much stuff and so much interesting background. So. Feel free to revisit that stuff if you guys want to know more at any point about our new items. Yes. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like. That way you just make sure uh, you get notified every time there's a new exciting video like this. Yay. All right. Yeah. And also, wonderful. yeah, the podcast too. Our podcast, oh, yes. remember, we have a new podcast out uh, every month. And in, uh, in this month is, uh, is our uh, Mary Poppins podcast. If you haven't uh, heard it yet, uh, go on uh, to uh, wherever you listen to your podcast uh, and catch our new one on uh, Mary Poppins and all kinds of things behind the scenes of when they filmed Mary Poppins. So a lot of interesting information with the actress. Um, my guess was the actress who played Jane. Uh, yeah. So uh, she is on the podcast uh, with me. And it was a blast to ask her all these questions. And she had some really interesting information about uh, the makeup and the filming of, of Mary Poppins uh, in the 60s. So if you're interested in that, uh, give it a listen. Yes, absolutely. So that is all for now. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Uh, this is on our site now. So if you want even yes. more information, you yes. can visit our yes. website. Yeah, visit, yes. And mm -hmm. you can see the new uh, the new powders we've released. And remember, you get those free yes. samples of our skincare with every order, no matter what. So yes. if you're interested yes. in that, make a purchase and you'll get those added automatically. Yay, Gabriella, thank you yes. so much for another thank you. lovely tutorial <laughs> here and information. And thank you again for oh, joining thank us. You. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.